Today we're going to talk to you about installing a condensate pump using an MIM B14 on one of our mini split units. This is the MIM B14. Comes in a box. There's a small little control board. And the control board will have two wires that'll plug into your main PCB. It'll have an electrical box that you can mount somewhere inconspicuously inside the unit. Today, we're going to be installing the Aspen Mini Orange Pump. Pump will have a set of instructions, some tubing to connect, the pump itself, a reservoir that will connect to the condensate drain pan, a spare reservoir, a fusible link, and some wire. So let's go ahead and move over to the unit and install this drain pump. So now here we are at the unit. We have gone ahead and made our connection from the condensate drain line to our reservoir, run our tubing over to our condensate pump, and then we have our wiring connections here. The next step is to go ahead and install this MIM B14 into the unit, mount it in an inconspicuous place, go ahead and make our wiring connections, and then we'll need to uh, enable that condensate pump through the programming of the unit. So I'll go ahead and mount this MIM B14, and then we'll show the wiring connections. So now we're going to make our wiring connections. First thing you're going to want to do is take your safety, normally closed safety, from the Aspen Orange, and wire it into the terminals 5 and 6 on our MIM B14. Once the safety is connected, we'll take our two wires, harnesses that come, and plug them directly into this board. They are color coordinated and can only go in one spot on the control board. Once the connections are made, we can then mount the control board into the case that it came with. Get the wires out of the way so they don't get pinched. Close it up. Now that we have it mounted in the box, we'll go ahead and mount this box in an inconspicuous spot. Keep it out of the way. Now that we have the MIMB14 installed in an inconspicuous spot, we have the cover back on here. We are ready to program the external contact on the MIMB14. We're going to go ahead and enable that external contact. By enabling this, it's going to be looking for a normally closed contact. If, this, if the contact opens with the safety fails, then the unit will shut off. And if the contact closes again, the system will resume in, in standby mode to be turned on and run again. First thing we're going to need to do is enter the service menu of the controller can be found in the installation manual. So by pressing and holding the set and delete, you should get a flashing one. Using the up arrow, change it to the main menu number four. Using the right hand arrow, we'll display the sub menu. We want to change that to the number three. Using the right hand arrow, we'll display our digits. For the enabling the external contact, we want to change segment 14 to a number two. So the first six digits, we want to scroll to the second page, keep on going till we get to the third page. The second digit will be flashing. This is our 14th segment. We're going to want to change that using the up arrow to the number two, which is an off only control. So if that contact opens up, our system will shut down. Hit the set button to save that change. The unit will beep. And then we want to just press the escape button. And now the system is programmed and ready to go.